Hello and welcome to my favourites video. I'm kind of excited to film this because I've never actually done like a proper favourites video. I did one joke one years ago. So let's start with beauty, which feels weird to say because uh, there's a bath thing in here, which I guess isn't really a beauty thing. Speaking of the bath thing, let's start with that. As I mentioned on my channel, I have had hip surgery in the last four months. It was now four months ago. Yay, that's good, because that means like I'm on the road to recovery properly. I started doing a lot more of the physio kind of stuff, which I'll get into later, because that's actually one of my favorites, weirdly. And I needed extra help recovering after, which is when my mom suggested that I try Epsom salt bath. Baths, baths. After I'd done something particularly intense, so with the physio, or if I'd been on a long walk or anything, I would have a Epsom salt bath, and unlike other times where I'd basically feel like a zombie the next day, I would actually be able to function as a human being. So, this is probably my favourite of the favourites. Thank you for making me feel better. Next up on like the beauty kind of stuff, I have a moisturiser. Now I do have to say this is not cruelty free which was a very, very hard decision for me because um, I've been vegan for four years next month. And by next month, I'll mean this month because this is probably gonna go up at the beginning of March. And with that comes trying to not use anything that's been tested on animals. However, I also have hypersensitive skin, like seriously hypersensitive skin. Um, so I've had to get a moisturizer that is not cruelty free which was a really difficult decision for me. Um, it is this one. It is, I cannot say this, La Roche Posay, Posay, Tellerian Ultra. It's got like nothing in it that could aggravate you, but it is also really, really strong. So it does the job very, very well, but also doesn't irritate you if you have masking. The reason I got this is because in the last few months, my skin just went crazy dry around here and would go red raw. Uh, if you look in a couple of my last videos, you can actually see that it was starting to go really bad. And I just, I couldn't get it to go away. Like I tried coconut oil, but I also have skin that clogs and break out, breaks out easily. So that was just not working for me. I tried argan oil, but that wasn't doing enough. I was just, I was at a bit of a loss and it wasn't getting any better. It was just getting worse and kind of kind of spreading and I didn't want to end up with an actual issue. So I started looking into it and this one kept coming up in all of my searches, uh, but it's not cruelty free. <laughs> I kind of think, okay, I won't get it, but then I'm in Boots one day and I see that they have it and they had a tester. So I thought, all right, you know what, I'm going to try it. So I tried it just on this bit of my skin where it was causing me issues. And by the end of the day, it was so much better. The improvement was so extremely good that I kind of just accepted that maybe I should get this because it was it was starting to hurt, you know, I had to get it sorted and uh, this did it. You bastard. I would love to find a dupe for this that is cruelty free. So if you are well versed in the world of moisturizers, please do let me know if there is anything non tested on animals that I could get that would do this job. Next in like the beauty kind of category is makeup. But nothing in particular. I just mean makeup in general. I stopped wearing makeup. Um, it wasn't like a, a decision to just not wear makeup. I just decided for a holiday I was going on in October 2017, I was just not gonna wear any makeup. And I didn't, and it was great, and it felt fantastic. And then I got home and I thought, why am I bothering? I think I look fine. So I didn't wear makeup. And then that continued for the whole of 2018 until this month. Except for the odd occasion where I've done a photo shoot or when I filmed like my update video, uh, I haven't worn makeup regularly in nearly a year and a half. And I loved it. I, it was very pleasant. I could get ready really fast and I liked that rather a lot. But then I thought, eh, why not? You know, I just felt like it. So here I am with makeup again. I don't feel like I have to wear it. And it's nice to wear it, you know? Either's good. And now we move on to clothes and accessories. I'm gonna start with these 
Green tights, <laughs> which are a bit tangled. There we go. Green tights. Yeah. I have had these for ooh, about two years maybe and I just didn't know what to wear them with so I didn't wear them. They've just been sat in my drawer but you know I really like them so I didn't get rid of them I just kept them and thought one day one day I will figure out what to wear these with and then I did and I figured out that I can wear them with this dress. This dress! Yeah! I can't remember if I got this or if my mum got it for me as a gift but it's second hand uh, from eBay I think. It's great! It's perfect in spring or autumn really because it's the kind of thing you can wear with tights or without and boots and you know. So this dress is a favourite, these tights are a favourite and these boots that go with that outfit beautifully are a favourite. So these are new to me but second hand. They are leather but second hand leather I will get because my two sides of my morals come into conflict uh, when it comes to things like footwear and bags because do I get the plastic leather which is not eco-friendly or do I get the real leather which is also not really eco-friendly but you know cruelty to animals and I think because these will last me years whereas I'd have to get several pairs of uh, fake leather boots in that time this is probably the better option and I couldn't buy them new I could not buy like leather first hand but I can buy it second hand where I haven't been the one to contribute to that industry I'm just making sure that it's being used rather than wasted. So these are from Clark's originally and then I bought them for £20 including postage on eBay and they go with basically everything I own which is great. They also go with this skirt. I love this skirt, it is beautiful. It is, where is it from? I don't know. It is from Next. I don't know because I bought this on eBay second hand and I've just been wearing it a lot this February because it's great for winter because it's double layered. Look, see? Double layers. And then in accessories I have my jewellery that I've started making. This is a uh, citrine and I've crafted polymer clay on top of it to look like bark and with these little leaf details. I'll do a close-up of this and of the other ones that I've made. This is something I've started making and I'm hopefully maybe going to be opening an Etsy shop to sell them and maybe some other things but this is definitely a favourite. It's also a crafty favourite because I like making things. Okay, next category is books. Now I am in the middle of reading several books but books that I have found particularly useful are two recipe books. So we have Vegan on the Go, you can see all my tabs in it, and Know Me Athlete. Uh, about three weeks ago I decided that I really wanted to make more of an effort with what I was eating because after the surgery we kind of got a bit lazy with it and then you know I started making more of my own sort of fresh things again but I was in a bit of a bad habit with having things that weren't necessarily the best for me or portion sizes that are way too big so I decided to go through these pick out some stuff that I really liked that was more sort of salad focused or uh, really good grains, that kind of thing and make those and also just eat slightly smaller portions and it did wonders, absolute wonders, I feel fantastic. Next up we have entertainment and I only have two things in this uh, category. I have wrestling, four things, and a game that I started playing again recently. So last year I watched the Royal Rumble and I loved it but we didn't continue really watching it uh, from that point on and then Royal Rumble happened this year as it does because it happens every year and I haven't stopped watching since. It has been so much fun to watch. I am finally getting my head around all of the stories and the characters and things which makes it a million times more interesting because when I was first watching it I was just enjoying the athleticism but now I'm loving the characters and the stories and it's just... it's good. It's just good. I like it. I really like it. So wrestling. And then the game is Baldur's Gate 2 Shadows of Arm which is the only game I have ever completed. I'm almost ashamed to say that but I am not really the kind of person who likes to finish a game. I kind of just like to play obsessively 
do all of the side quests and things and then not get to the end and just start a new character and do the whole thing again. That's, that's kind of how I play games. That's why I'm still playing Skyrim and have not finished it, ever. Baldur's Gate 2, I finished and I loved it. It has a special place in my heart and for some reason I just felt like playing it again recently. I've been playing as a sorcerer, which is a nice change because the thing with uh, Baldur's Gate 2 uh, Shadows of Arm is that it's based in Athcatla and that city has magic outlawed. Uh, you can only cast magic with a permit and of course your character doesn't have a permit or any of your characters. So it makes it a bit more interesting, you know? Like I can only cast magic in certain places. I can't do it within the city limits. It's a good way of playing the game. I'm enjoying it. Because the first playthrough I had, I was a fighter. I figured I'd just go in hack slash woo, much easier. Sorcerer makes it a bit trickier. And also because I've only ever played as like a fighter kind of character or like a thief, uh, I found like organizing my party really difficult. Anyway, I'm, I could talk about this forever, so I'm not gonna, I'm gonna leave it there. <laughs> now it's time for food slash events. And those are very different things, but I only had one item food-wise, like specifically. I mean, I have a lot of things that I really, really like, but one favorite and uh, three events, but one of them is food. So combine them. So the food item is this coffee. It is Beanie's Flavor Coffee Gingerbread Instant. Now I've had these before. I've had the Irish cream one, which I think might be my favorite. But when my mom visited a little while ago, she brought this with her for us and it's delicious. It smells and tastes like gingerbread. So leading from that, still in the food category, going through to events, John and I went out for a meal recently, which we haven't really done in a very long time because, you know, circumstances, yay surgery, blah, blah, blah. So we went out for a meal. We went to Frankie and Benny's because they had a new vegan menu and we tried their vegan quarter pounder burger. I think it's the Viva La Vegan. I would definitely recommend it. And we also tried their garlic pizza bread, which is also fantastic and I wanna go back and eat all of those things again. And also try their dessert. They had like a lava cake. Definitely want to try that. And I want to try their other burger and I want to try their mac and cheese. Yeah, I want to try like everything. Next up, we have a photo shoot. Yes, I did a photo shoot. And I, do, I wasn't behind the camera. It was refreshing to be photographed instead of photograph myself. It was nice to work with someone else because one of my biggest sort of hangups with that is I've always loved modeling and things which you know I can only do at a hobby level because I'm just under 5'4". But I've always been nervous to work with other people. I think partially because I'm also a photographer so it's, it's a combination of social anxiety, being nervous of working with other people, the possible danger of working with other people and also relinquishing that control. Like there's a lot of things going on but I'd followed Chris at Norse Dragon Armory for a very long time that pr I think pretty much is since he had his profile on Instagram, I found it and I just started following it. And before my surgery, I finally plucked up the courage to message him and say, hey, do you wanna do a shoot? Would you be interested? And he said, yes. So we weren't able to do it before my surgery. There wasn't much time, but we did manage to arrange it for the 25th of February. And it was so much fun. I got to fulfill my Valkyrie dreams. I had my hair all styled, it was like braided down the side and I had a few braids through this bit, back combed and stuff. I was in full gear, wielding an ax at one point, I had a shield at one point and a sword and a cape. It was just, oh, it was great. I had the best time. If you're interested in seeing the photos from that, there is a link through to his Instagram and my Instagram in the description below. But I will also just put a couple of images right here. And a really, really big one, but not a particularly exciting one, is I did hydrotherapy over the last three weeks. It was brilliant and exhausting. Like, really exhausting. I don't think I've been that tired in a long time. The issues I'm having mostly with my hip now are strength-focused, and the exercises that we were doing in the hydrotherapy were pretty heavily focused on strength-building in, like, lower limbs. So it was pretty perfect for me. And whilst I was knackered after each session, I overall have felt fantastic and I can now at last finally do a squat. I mean, I can't do many, 
but I can do the movement now and that is huge. And finally, we're coming full circle because this is an event and also beauty. I got my hair done. I haven't had my hair coloured uh, since September. Yeah, that's a very long time. But it is amazing what like a fresh haircut, although we only cut like that much off, but what a fresh sort of hair colour and cut can do for you. I feel so much better having done that. I also timed having this done so that it was just before the photo shoot by like a few days. So it was long enough that I was kind of used to it, but short enough that it's still really, really fresh. And I think that that meant that it looked a lot better, you know? And that, everyone, is my favourite. I think I've covered everything. Thank you for watching. I hope this was at least vaguely interesting. I had fun filming it. It was nice to sort of acknowledge the things that I have in my life and kind of go, yeah, these are, these are good. I enjoy these. And with that, I'm gonna go. So let me know in the comments below what you thought of this video, if you would be interested in seeing another one of these, and also what your favourite things from February are for you. Whether it be something new, something old, an experience, let me know what your favourite in February was. Thank you for watching, my internet peoples. I hope you had a lovely time, and I will see you soon.